Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Not generally Wednesday here, end of end of March. Random, random night. Uh, we got smoked in dollar yen. Shit. Yesterday we were working, working, working on shorts, short shorts, and it was gonna. We thought it was gonna go down at the beginning of the day, and then it went up to twenty nine, uh, and then just after lunch finally broke 50. Um, I guess we were not alone with this idea because nothing really has changed. Euro is still on the 109 handle. Uh, rates are 357 basically where they were yesterday, but dollar yen shot up uh, 150 points now. As you can see overnight in Asia, you know, we closed at 60. Well, it didn't close at 60. It was 60 around 9 p.m. last night. Looked like we were going to head south, and then bang. So we got caught short here. Um, pain in the ass. Kind of gave away a fair chunk of the week's P&L. Um, don't know what's going on here. Uh, don't think it's sustainable. Uh, the next sort of, I would say, sell point is 132, sort of 3050. So we'll see. I uh, have to keep an eye on this. I've asked around. Uh, to my guys and nobody really seems to know what the hell's going on looks like just the market all is short and got caught here uh, so that's fairly annoying let's look at stocks also oddly bullish uh, and I guess this could explain it's a very similar chart to the dollar yen right so we're down at 139.80 yesterday and then all of a sudden we just float on higher um, looks like we're going to probably take a look at this 4040 level uh, whether it's sustainable again so I don't think so um, but this seems to be now that I look closer at this chart seems to be driving things a little bit the rest of currencies as you can see are, are fairly unmoved gold is just dicking around up to 74 down to 62 um, it looks like it's going to be a patience uh, Patience morning. It's already 7:07 in um, in London. I'm not sure what the systems are going to do today. 108.50 now is important in uh, in euro dollar. Clearly some uh, some offers there. Calendar's pretty light today. Got really uh, nothing nothing going on. SMB quarterly bulletin this afternoon, FOMC guys, pending home sales, nobody really cares. Um, pretty darn quiet. Things start picking up tomorrow when we have um, GDP in the U.S. and German CPI tomorrow. German CPI, that's probably going to come in a little bit light. We get some really, really stretchy stuff now in Euro Yen. It's probably going to be a sell, right? Uh, are we going to take out that 143.68 high? Gosh, that would be crazy if we did. But the whole, the market is caught short dollar yen and Euro Yen. This is sort of left over from the, the banking crisis trade. Um, and they're getting punished for it. Euro Norway did pay yesterday. Selling high ones worked out pretty well. We were selling 28s, uh, 29 and a half. Harvested that. Dollar CAD also. These are just sort of crude related trades. Dollar CAD went up to 97. We were on the offer. Um, we were on the offer up there at 80 and 87. That worked out pretty well. This is going to be resistant now. Um, 136 30 50 so dollar cad shorts or something you can stick your sink your teeth into I think because um, crude is just bid to the boots uh, rock solid easily go up to 76 76 bucks um, crude uh, would not be short crude 
what else? Not much else out there. Looks like a quiet day. A little bit jaded with this dollar yen move overnight. Uh, never like to walk walk in in the morning to losses. Uh, so we're just gonna have to regroup uh, and rewrite the ship and rewrite this week. Uh, so see what we can do. I guess dollar cad. Uh, you know, selling dollar cad looks like a like a good one if we do see euro on our way back above um, 1126 for whatever reason uh, we'll sell that there as well one last thing euro swiss retails very short this stuff and we are approaching parity big up day yesterday finally the whole jaded jaded switzerland trade came into play um, gotta wonder if this thing is gonna shock the world Head higher. Wonder what this line looks like. Not even a three pointer. Um, Euro Swiss looks looks very very bid. Uh, not sure what to do with that. Maybe try and grab some uh, if we dip down to sort of ninety nine seventy to ninety nine fifty. Uh, retail short. The story is for Euro Swiss higher. Uh, so we kind of like that as well. Anyway, uh, we're going to keep it uh, very quiet here at the open and be patient. Wait for the market to come to us. We are not going to chase the market here. All right. Good luck out there, people.